Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online, and today I have another Cubase tip for you. Actually, someone asked me the following question. How do you get your master buses on the right side separately on the mixer? This is not too complicated and actually quite cool. So I am going to show you how to split the mix console in Cubase. But first, the intro. If you're new here on this channel, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything, and don't forget to share and to like this video. All right, let's jump in Cubase. So this is the look of my mix console for this project. And as you can see on the right side of the uh, mix console, I have static channels, okay? Meaning that they are not gonna move. So if I um, go from left to right uh, within my mixer, if I scroll left and right, those channels are not going to move. They're going to stay static on the right side of the mixer. And on the left side, I also have two channels that are also going to be static, okay? So there's a very simple way to do so. Uh, first, let's go on the top right of the mix console and activate the left zone, okay? Now on the left, we are going to go into zones on top. There's a tab called zones. So click on it. Now we have the list of all of our tracks. Okay, so I'm just going to go down and select okay all of these buses that are on the left okay i can only select one and keep my finger on shift and they're all going to be selected now those buses are part of my mix template i always send all of my uh, drums to the same bus um, same for the bass same for all the guitars keyboards and vocals if you want to know more about the way i set up my template i have a free ebook and video training for you i'm going to leave the link on top and also in the description down below now getting back to cubase um, now those channels are static on the right side i always have access to those channels or whatever i am on my uh, mix console and also for the same channels on the left okay i have like two reference tracks that i keep on the left side when i'm mixing now if you notice on the left zone we have dots okay you can uh, put the dot on the left middle or the right side okay so if i put all of them on the left you'll see all of those tracks going on the left side of the mix console if i uh, keep all the dots in the middle they're going to be part of the uh, regular mix console they're not going to be static on either sides okay so i just keep them on the right now if you select more than one they're all going to move if you select only one only one channel will move uh, depending on where you put the dot on okay um, so this is very practical it's very simple to do okay just go on the left zone the zone tab and you have uh, all of your tracks and you decide on which side of the mix console you want your track uh, to be at okay now if we go on the project window and we activate the lower zone we have our mix console okay we can also do the same on that uh, mix console at the lower zone of the project window if we want to okay same thing applies we go on the uh, left zone okay of the project window and then we go into the visibility tab on top and at the bottom into zones and we have the same as we've seen on the mix console left zone okay you just select the tracks you want to you want to see on the right zone of the mixer and you just uh, uh, move the dot to that uh, that side and that's it. Okay, now something pretty nice here We can manage to um, to have the same layout from the mix console to the project window Okay, uh, so let's say I go to my mix console. I have this layout uh, Which has like my mix buses on the uh, the right side and two reference tracks on the left if I go on top here and I click on sync mix console to project then I'm going to go on my project window. My layout is the same. Now it copied the layout that I had on my mix console to the project window. Okay. Very, very practical. Really like this option. Okay. So you have the same on your project window as you have on your mix console. So there you go. This is how to split the mix console in Cubase. If you have any questions or comments, please leave everything down below and don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, see you.